Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're all fantastic. This is the Nuex Trident, their latest all-in-one modeling board. This is a really interesting mix of modeling and I guess a kind of traditional layout on here. You've got dedicated knobs per functions. For example, you can see there's a delay section, a reverb section, a modulation and an effects section. But you've got the advantages of kind of modern modelers where you can get in and tweak the effects layout and access some deeper functions. The IO is pretty good on this as well. You've got XLR outs, quarter inch outs on there. You've got MIDI via TRS jacks over here. There we go. We got some zoom happening so you can actually see this. There's an expression pedal input. There's auxiliary inputs on here as well and a send and return effects loop on here. So I'm just going to start out by giving you an overview of what it's like to dial in a preset from this front panel. Then we'll hear some of the presets that I have written for this. A big thank you to Nuex for sending me this unit so I could make some noise with it. Let's go. Let's start by dialing in a preset from scratch using the hardware. There is a software editor available for this if you prefer to edit your patches this way, but I figured this would give you a good overview of what it's actually like to work on the unit and provide you with a few of the core tones. So foot switches are pretty self-explanatory. Their function is fixed. Then you've got knobs for specific effect sections. Delay and reverb over here with three-way toggle switches to select between the different modes on each of the delay and reverb and then a three-way position switch so you can do delay into reverb, reverb into delay or run them in parallel. That's a nice touch. Your modulation section, your effects section and then dedicated amp style knobs. If you want to go in and edit individual blocks in depth, you can press this encoder here. This will bring you the entire grid and you can see that it's actually running right to left like a traditional pedal board. A lot of modelers go left to right. So if you're not used to using modelers before, this might actually be a little more comfortable. Let's just take a look at what we've got in the amp block. This is the Jazz Clean amp. I can scroll through the different pages of parameters on here. I can use this encoder to select different amps, or I can go back and change up my cab. I'm just going to stick with the standard selection on here for the Jazz. It's the matching cab with an SM57. Let's just hear the core clean tone, then we'll bring in some effects. wanted to plug in a direct delay time, I can go to the grid, I can select the block that I want, in this case delay, and press this encoder, and then I can go through and plug in either the rhythmic subdivision I want, or the exact time in milliseconds. The same is going to apply to all the other effects on here. So let's go back home. So what did I go with? I had some hall reverb, which I like the sound of. I've got that BBD style delay. Let's find a chorus sound that I like. I 
I quite like that chorus. The chorus stuff across all the Nuex pedals I've tried is generally pretty good. I might let you just hear that without the delay and reverb on there. Again, I'm on the split mode of this DGT for lots of spank, and then we'll bring a compressor in on top of all of that. So what do I have? Let's just hear the chorus. <laughs> That covers the bread and butter effects in there. And as you can see, the operation is a lot more like using a traditional pedal board and say a switching system than it is a modern modeler. The only thing that you can't tweak from the front panel is the boost on here. You do have to kind of go in to the overall menu, you know, select the boost. You can select between a bunch of different boosts. I've just got a Tube Screamer set up over here with a level high and the drive low. I've also switched over to the deluxe reverb and the matching cab. Let's have a listen to that on the neck pickup of the DGT, then I'll bring in some delay, some modulation and the boost. shiny tone going on with the deluxe reverb especially on the neck pickup there let's go to something a little rockier i've got the brit 800 dialed up you've got your kind of typical selection of fender vox marshall style amps as well as some high gain options which we'll hear in a second but for now uh you know the brit 800 is always a good litmus test for any modeling device again just using the matching cap <laughs> to some high gain stuff i've got the soldano model the slo 100 dialed up here at the moment i've got the matching cab in here that comes stock with it i've got some pitch detune in the mod section so even though you've just got some pretty straightforward selections from the front panel you can dive into the mod section and get stuff like detune vibrato there's a rotary sound in there there's a chorus plus i think based on the tc chorus there's a flanger, there's quite a few different modulation options in there, but uh, we want some pitch detune. If I want to say change this detune parameter over here, I've got to press one of these buttons and then use this one encoder over here. So I'll just bring the mix down on there. I'll turn it off to start, we'll go back home. I've got some digital delay on there. I'll bring up the decay on the reverb. I'll let you hear it dry first. So this is the SLO 100. <laughs> Thank you. 
In the words of Krusty the Clown, I don't mind the taste. So I'll show you a couple of presets that I've written for this that should come stock with this unit whenever it is released. Uh, this one is not using an amp block, it's just the good old EQ into compressor into time-based effects Rockman style thing. Let's hear it on the neck pickup. <laughs> Next up is the Recto. I've added a boost in front of it and I'm using my free LTTV Mix 7 Cab IR. <laughs> Greased up version of that Soldano amp, again pitch detune, delay and reverb, very much a similar thing to what we heard before. <laughs> Star model on here, which I think sounds pretty sweet, especially when you hit it with a compressor or a boost in front of it. Also a just standard rock and roll crunch thing based around one of the Marshall models. Again, just a kind of standard boost in front. I've set up the delay and the modulation where I like it basically to sound like kind of late 70s rush. <laughs> that I do like about this approach is that I have some distinct favorite effects in each block. For example, I think the CE1 chorus sounds fantastic. I really like that BBD style delay. I like the compressor in there, the studio style comp that is. I like the whole reverb and there's a couple of amps like the JCM800, the Soldano, the Deluxe Reverb, even the Lone Star that we heard before that work really, really well. So with this kind of layout, I feel like I just want to stick to each of those core effects. And I've talked about this before, like if you have option paralysis on a modeling device, just find your favorite wobbly thing, your favorite boosty thing, your favorite echoey thing, and just roll with that. This kind of setup, I think, pushes players towards that, which I think is a good thing. It's definitely going to appeal to a lot of people who are new to modeling. If you're frustrated with the menu diving approach to a lot of modelers out there, I think you'll like this as well as with any new X stuff. There's some real gold to be found in some of those effects blocks in there. There are some kind of effect types that 
you know, they're not my favorite sounds out of all the different modeling devices there, but there's some, like I said, like the CE1 Chorus that are really, really good. And part of the fun with a unit like this is the low price point, the form factor, and the fact that you can just kind of go in and find those little gold nuggets in there. So if you want more information, I'll put a link in the video description. Thanks for taking the time to check out my video. If you like my channel and you want to support it directly, check the video description. You can get those free IRs there too. Otherwise, have a great day and I will see you all next time.